everyone, my name is Raziel K and I'm back with another tour review and today Cosmos and yes, I didn't tap the box because I don't have it I could not find this guy on in any store and it sold out in walmart.ca super fast Like I had it in my cart and by the time I got to my my to pay it was sold out So thanks Walmart and I still can't find it on in stores uh, The only place I saw it was at a toy show and obvious scalpers were selling uh, Cosmos for 80 bucks so thanks for local uh, stores, or that, that's not a store. There was just some guys at a toy show. Thanks for the scalping. Uh, the problem is that, uh, you know, Cosmo is a must. I actually bought Warpath just because of Cosmos. Because I'm not a fan of Warpath, but I'm like, oh, they're going to release all the mini bots in um, deluxe scale. I, I need to get it. And uh, I had to ask input. Well, actually, I asked a bunch of people. Uh, if they had a Cosmos, uh, you know, lying around and uh, Input had one so he mailed it to me uh, But without the boss because he got it from a friend of his and you know um, I'm happy to have uh, this figure except I need to dig out for the flag now because the moment I got the this I put the flag in the uh, Accessory bag so I'll have to dig that up for the review, but I'm really happy to have Cosmos so thanks for stopping by guys, we're going to take a look at this figure, but before we do so I just want to remind you to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm super proud of, and also check out the interview playlist, um, you're going to have a lot of fun watching this, because those actors are legendary, and also don't forget to check out UJC Collectible, my sponsor, and wait until the end of the video to get the 10% discount code. And now let's roll the intro. in person all right so this is going to be a quicker uh, review because i don't have the box or the instruction uh but for those people who really like boxes here's a box of staples there you go accessory you have the flag which the moment i receive i threw in my blast effect bag but the gun who's gonna hold it actually pretty good I mean standard legacy or uh, I guess yeah legacy speedy uh, Velocitron 500 or something it's uh, it's yeah it's actually quite simple so you know don't give us this add to this so anyway good gun but the figure god a lot of people are complaining about the arms and I don't care. I don't care. Because I'm not going to display him like this. Woo, look. Yo, cheering for the race. Yay. No, I'm not going to do that. He's fantastic. I mean, um, you know, I, I kind of miss the gimmick where you just push the head down and then the top would stay on top. You know, now it's a, a pivot here, but it's really good. I mean... Could you use a little more uh, details? Sure, I mean, you know, silver with the Yorbot logo, uh, light blue and other silver on a little darker blue, on the whole green and yellow, and there's the, the darker green uh, and the silver highlight um, on the toes, I guess. And, uh, you know, a couple, I don't know, cannons on the side here. De Decepticons! I mean, it's it's not a lot of paint, but it's faithful to what he he, he was. I really like him. Uh, the back cleans up fairly nicely. A little bit of kibble, but he's not back heavy. He stands pretty good. The heels are uh, good on uh, the figure. Uh, it's a nice way to uh, convert the uh, you know saucer to uh, a foot. Not bad, and it's a brand new mold, you know, the, the, it doesn't, uh, a lot of rumors were that uh, Warpath was going to be uh, the uh, mold mate, uh, but, uh, or a retool of Warpath, and uh, thank God that didn't happen, because Warpath was, to me, a nightmare to transform the legs, 
but I really like this guy. You have standard articulation at the head where it rotates 360. You can ferris wheel this guy all the way. You can merry-go-around as you please. And then because of the skirt, you're able to do the Johnny Cage. And uh, yeah, you have, uh, what else? Well, you have the rotation here. You have a rotation at under the shoulder and then you have the uh, elbow that's going to bend 90. You have a, no, you don't have a rotation at the end. Uh, you have that movement because of transformation. You have a rotation under uh, the joint here. You have a 90 degree bend. You don't have, or do you? No, you don't have a back and forward, but you do have the ankle rocker. Whoa, but not that much. It's hindered because of the size of the foot. It's kind of hindered. But overall, fantastic. And I really like the way he transformed as well. Uh, because of that little uh, mechanism here. Uh, hold on. I haven't transformed him in a while. You unpeg. Well, you have to unpeg. Well, I'll show it in transformation. Hold on. Let's uh, start with, uh, well, give him back his gun. Put him on the side. Remove this flag forever. And do some size comparison with Kingdom Warpath. And the only reason I got Warpath is because uh, they made Cosmos. So now they're, they probably will do Beachcomber and the other uh, Power Glide. And I think there's one other that I can't recall right now. So I'm looking forward to see uh, what happens. A Nutcracker from my oldest son's collection. And my favorite mold of all time because he's the favorite Decepticon I bought for myself. Astro Train. And now let's transform this guy. First you want to remove this. And then you want to... Um, hold on. Oh yeah, it's the arms first. So I like this, the way it pegs. Anyway, you unpeg the arms and you push them back. It pegs a little more and push them back like this. And then you want to spin this. Well, that never happened before. Hold on. All right, it's not broken. It's just unpeg. Sorry about that. Put it back in. Then you pull, push, and then it gives you the back of the uh, the saucer. Oh, hold on. Uh, straighten that arm like this. And we're done from the back. Here's from the front. Looking good. I don't recall if he had this color on the G1 toy. I'll look, look it up uh, later. But I do love this saucer. I mean, it's a little high here. You know, to be a completely 1950s type of UFO in movies. Uh, it's too high, but it still looks really good. Like the detailing from the chest that translates really well in this mode. The head, the flip, you know, that's fun. Uh, it looks like his head is shrunk down, so it looks really good. Uh, I like the little dark green highlight uh, all around. Uh, you see a, just a bit of yellow. You know, they could have maybe hide that, but... I don't think it would have uh, made much difference. This looks really good. Uh, I, I said blaster earlier for this. Well, actually, it's part of the hand. They have the same blaster here. The same kind of look uh, does translate uh, on the side of the hands, but it's not the same part. Uh, those are actually thrusters because they're facing backwards. You do have some little guns here. And I'm guessing they're blast effect compatible. Give me a second. Yeah, they are. I wasn't sure if, because uh, they're, I think, uh, it was Blaster, his gun wasn't uh, Blast Effect compatible, so people were thinking maybe Legacy would not keep uh, this trend. But uh, no, it's done. It's great. I love... Oh, and you can put the gun here. I was hoping that there was something like you could do with the clips, but you can't. So, you put the gun here, and there you go. All right, let's do some size comparison with Core Class Legacy Iguanas. And you know what? Vehicle mode, there's not much difference in size. I mean, of course, he's beefier than uh, Iguanas, 
but uh, I don't know, it's a pretty big bike uh, compared to a UFO. Kind of overly beat up G1 slag. And uh, Kingdom Pipes, just because I felt like it and I haven't played uh, with that figure in a while. Alright, so let me put him back in robot mode and do my final thoughts. <laughs> So there you go guys, that's my review of Legacy Velocitron Speedy of 500 Cosmos. And thank you Input for providing this figure to me. Uh, it uh, took a long time. The shipping from the US to Canada is much longer than from Canada to the US. Let me tell you that. It took a while. But it got here, it was, you know, undamaged and looking fantastic. And I'm really happy to have this guy in my collection. Hopefully soon they'll release the Season 2 Autobots Minibot. And uh, hell, they should uh, probably do Gears eventually. But, you know, at this point it might be just wishful thinking. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment. I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.